Hello everyone, I'm Mirror Breaks, and today we got a box of 2022-2023 Upper Deck Trilogy. So Trilogy to break down, we got four cards per pack, six packs per box, and any given box we should be guaranteed one autograph and one memorabilia card. On top of that, we should be getting at least one Plexi, a card numbered to 99 or less, a rookie year photo variant, or a rookie triptychs. On top of that, we should be getting three base set rookie cards that are serial numbered, three numbered parallels, and then three base rookie renditions or trilogy generations cards. So definitely glad to be getting into this product because way back in my stature video, I absolutely ripped this product because of its pricing, which was to be fair, is not really its fault, but. Do you see a major problem here? Why why is Trilogy priced more than Stature? If you were to look at an average box break of Stature and Trilogy, like you have way more potential of getting something good in this box than in Trilogy. And I don't want to sound like I'm hating on Trilogy because Trilogy can be a good product at an entry level price, not at some not at like $240. Are you kidding me? We're here now, it's a different year because in that video I was talking about 2020-21, this one's 22-23. And yeah, even in that video I said that Trilogy is a good product, but yeah, so we're here now, it's finally getting a chance to give this a fair shake. Just a couple other things that I really like about this product is that, you know, it guarantees you an autograph, it says right there on the box. You're also going to be getting at least six numbered cards, which is really good. I think I definitely prefer getting guaranteed numbered cards in a box compared to stuff like tech or like unnumbered like plexi cards or stuff like that. Uh, especially happy that the Frozen in Time is back. The uh, the thick uh, acetate cards that used to be in Trilogy before. Uh, yeah, Trilogy, it's the... It's the thing that's known for the rookie premieres, the rookie renditions, the different tier levels. I'm not gonna really get into that because it's a lot to it's a lot to get into, and it's not it's not really worth it. It's not really worth talking about. It's just there's so many. It's so there's so much to go into, and just watching some videos of this, it seems like they got the tiering wrong from what I heard. So we're just gonna ignore that. Um, and I guess just one last thing. There is some hard signed content in here which is nice they are harder to pull you got your signature pucks which are kind of hard signed it's kind of like those uh those cards from black diamond the uh the silver on black or the the gold on black it's like those placard cards but then you got your autofocus your rookie autofocus and your crystallized so there's definitely on card options here for you to hunt, um, but it's probably going to be a sticker auto that we're getting. I, I opened a box of this before. First auto was a sticker auto. It was a past uh, generations of Sam Bennett to ten, the parallel. But let's see, let's see how we do here. So yeah, let's just get into trilogy. Okay, so trilogy, and I guess just getting back into. Recording and talking about just all of that got our six packs here. So I definitely when I first got into the channel I definitely Just kind of went into it head first and that's not the worst thing to me personally. I think Having a no thoughts head empty kind of mindset is okay for to a certain extent But it just it kind of caught up and I wasn't Like a lot of things that I didn't really plan for kind of came back to came back to bit to bite me. So we're back now uh, gonna try and do things a little bit differently. I'm gonna the main thing I'm gonna focus a little less on Valuing cards for breaks like this. I'm gonna do that in something different Which we will talk about later. I definitely want these types of videos to just be Focusing on just just ripping just kind of having fun taking it easy and just ripping ripping cards so Trilogy, we've got uh, Matt Boldy on the front here. Let's let's get into it. Let's see what we got. Got to be careful because the one box I did open of this, the jersey card is on the back. So, 
Okay. So here's our base, GT Miller. I see something behind it. It's, it's just a base, so we'll get into that in a sec. But yeah, GT Miller. Canucks are doing pretty good this year. They've been a surprise. I think I think Rick Tockett's been doing a good job of getting those guys into shape. So there's GT Miller. Here we have our first insert. It is a base trilogy generations. It is a pass of Zach Parise, him in the wild. These are probably my favorite just inserts from the set. I on I just really like them. I can't I can't really explain it. I don't know if it's the past, present, future wheel. I I, I don't know. I just I just really like it. So there's Zach Parise, and there's a ton of numbered parallels for this, like the JVR in the back there. Got a decoy here. We got Rasmus Kupari, and what is this? It's a rookie premier. That's Marco Rossi. Is it autoed? No. So we got Marco Rossi, rookie premier, level two. Again, don't don't know what that means. That is 131 to 299. So that's not bad. He's definitely overshadowed. Uh, Matt Boldy as of right now with his play. The Wild have been kind of eh. They fired their uh, they fired their coach earlier in the year. But yeah, so there's Marco Rossi, 131 of 299. Not a bad start. Next pack. I started on the right side, so let's see. Let's see what that has in store for us. If I can get the pack open. And that's our jersey card. Okay, we got Jack Eichel, Decoy, there's another, looks like it's another rookie renditions. Oh, sorry, rookie premieres. The first one was a rookie premier. I hope I didn't say that wrong. That is Mark McLaughlin. Uh, what's the numbering there? Five, it's a little hard to see. 563 of 999 so there's just a level one and let's see what our jersey card is it looks like it's just a base one that is barzel it's not bad there's our jersey hit our one mem hit of the box it is a nice little orange swatch of matt barzell and i'm glad we're not like football cards where you know you got to go into like national treasures to find uh game worn jerseys so, you got a game worn jersey of Matt Barzil. Pretty nice swatch there. Kind of, kind of a color match, I think. Close enough for me. So yeah, there's our there's our one mem hit Matt Barzil. All right, last pack of the first right stack here. Nothing too crazy so far. I, the brassy is pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we got. Alex Ovechkin still trying to chase Gretzky. Here's a here's a rookie renditions again. I'm so I apologize if I said it wrong the first few times. This is the rookie renditions. This is Ronnie Attard. And same thing. There are numbered parallels of this. There, there's too many to go through though. And looks like we have a number generations. Let's see who is it. Cam Neely. Now let, let's pretend it's autoed. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so there's a Trilogy Generations Red of Cam Neely that is 533 of 699. Again, I just I don't know what it is. I just really I just really like these cards. They're really they're really nice to me. It's in, I hope I hope in 2324 they do it, but that's even if I open 2324, which I'll get to in another video. But yeah, so there's another numbered card. Uh Cam Neely generations and vlad tarasenko base card all right so halfway through the box this is a fun rip this is something i'm glad i finally am giving a fair shake because i think it deserved it because it's, again it's not that bad of a product especially when it's giving you all these numbered cards it's really nice so let's continue on here we got connor garland this could be our auto let's see it is uh, twenty of four four ninety nine, so it's a 
definitely a rookie. <sighs> Please be Bobby Brink, because this is a flyer. Oh, no, Cates. That's not the worst. So there's our auto for the box again. 20 of 499, level 1, Noah Cates. So that's not too bad. Again, there's a lot of flyers in here. Bobby Brink would be the best one, but I don't think Noah Cates is too bad. So, yeah, honestly, nice auto, given it's on a sticker. But, yeah, so there's Noah Cates. So that's our auto. So let's see what the rest of the box has in store for us. So we got uh, Philip Hollander. 189 of 699. There's another rookie premier. It's a level one. And UC Soros. Two packs left. So we got we've got what's been promised to us for our hits. So let's see. Let's see if we can get like a nice numbered card. Maybe some short print, something like that. Something rare. Let's see. Okay. Jason Robertson, there's another base generations, I think I think all of them, all the ones I've got so far have been passed, uh, Henrik Zetterberg, definitely did not like playing against him when he was in the league, so there's that, got a red card here, that is Alex Debrinket, who's now on Detroit, that is just a base parallel red, 199, of 299 so him him and Patrick Kane are back together which would be a lot more scarier if it weren't Detroit so yeah they're I don't know they've they've kind of been like just the, they haven't made that next step yet and you everyone feels like they should have by now even though the Atlantic is tough but we'll see we'll see where they go what they do see how the season turns out for them so there's just Alex Debrinkit and Mark Stone. All right, so last pack. Uh, haven't gotten anything low numbered, no rookie variants, triptychs, nothing like that. No plexi cards. Let's see. Let's see what this one has to offer. Okay. Jonathan Marshall. So. And what is this? Uh, there's Chase Pearson, level... Oh, there's something behind it, okay. Chase Pearson, uh, level 1, rookie premier, uh, 96 of 999. Uh, we got Tage Thompson behind it. So let's see what this blue card is. Let's see if it's anything. Oh, it looks like it's just a base. It is... Well, that's... Okay, that's not bad. Nice way to end off there. Uh, base parallel blue or sapphire to 99 that's 6 and 99 Kirill Kaprizov that's not too bad so again he's he's he kind of got on a hot streak I think he's still kind of on it but yeah nice nice little numbered card there just to end off yeah pretty good pretty good break I'd say all right yeah so that was a box of 22 23 upper deck trilogy not not too bad it was a pretty average run in the middle box got an okay auto Decent jersey. We got some good numbered cards. The Caprizov, the, the Brinkett's nice. I'll take the generations every time. And then just our rookie cards did all right. The Rossi's good. I forgot to mention Chase Pearson, I don't even think is in the league anymore. But yeah, that wasn't too bad. So yeah, that, good good rip, fun rip. That's, that's what Trilogy is for being an entry-level product. So anyways, thank you for watching. Next time... I'm going to do something a little different. Uh, it's probably going to be with stature, I think. Depends on certain things, but it's ne expect, a uh, expect a stature video next, uh, next time. And yeah, thanks for watching. Happy New Year.